I know that you're someone like me that stands up for truth, that speaks truth, and doesn't just repeat ignorant slogans. In a world that's filled with complex issues, words really do matter, and I love these times where I can straight talk, and let's break down some of these slogans used against Israel and see what they really, really mean. This slogan, uh, Israel's occupying Palestine since 1948. Okay, well, that's, that implies that the very existence, Israel's birthday is 1948. Th this date means that, that Israel itself is a, is a occupying power. And not talking about 1967 when, when uh, Judea and Samaria and Gaza fell into our stewardship after a war that they started, but calling Israel's very existence an occupation is ignorant of history, right? Another slogan you hear chanting, these ignorant slogans, from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. Okay, it rhymes. But what is this free Palestine? How do you, how do you free Palestine, the entirety of this land, Israel, including a bunch of Jordan, including what a bunch of Syria, all this was this Roman term called Palestine. Uh, what do they mean? Do they want to, are they saying genocide? all, eliminate all of Israel, all, every Jewish person here, including uh, all the way into Jordan, get rid of the Jordanians, get rid of uh, everywhere that was that Roman area called Palestine. So there's a place with no, zero Jews, uh, as opposed to the current situation in Israel, we have Arabs that live here and Jews live here together. I don't understand what they're trying to say here, right? Uh, what about the slogan, jihad against the Jews? A jihad is it really means in that context a violent campaign to jihad, a violent campaign against the Jews to, to kill us, to murder us. Antifada, this is an Arabic word. It, it, it's used to describe periods of intense violence and murder. My own mother almost got blown up during an Antifada, the second Antifada, where there were swarms of terrorists who were bombing buses, shooting people, knifing people. Uh, first Antifada was 1987 to 1990. Second Antifada that I just talked about was year 2000 to 2005 or so. So supporting violence, like blowing up buses, blowing up malls, the Sbarro pizza shop, uh, cafes, is that what's being called for? I, I'd like to know if people really know what they're saying. You know, here's another slogan. Stop the genocide. Well, that's actually both dis discrediting what a real genocide is. As you know, the population in Gaza was like very, what, a few hundred thousand back after the war they started. And then uh, now it's millions and millions of, what, over two million people. So it's discrediting what the word genocide really means. Look into Syria and see what a genocide is. Look at, look at the Holocaust. Uh, it's confusing genocide and war. You know, war has consequences. Sadly, war is horrible. But unfortunately, you know, many times people that are innocent pay the price because of war. Don't start a war. It's not good. That's my advice. But uh, the same is true for every war ever conducted by anyone in all of history. So why does Israel, uh, why are they saying this, this, you know, a, a war of self-defense to restore security. I have this gun not to genocide anyone, but to to protect our land and my own family from being murdered, raped, killed uh, by the Hamas. And um, so why do they not, why is it not said about Israel that we're in a war of self-defense and, and, and actually applauding us for eliminating terrorists sad and heartbroken over any civilian who's caught up in this uh, Hamas incited uh, uh, time. But here's what we need to do is we can't conflate the two things. We can't say uh, genocide when it's really a war of self-defense. You know, these slogans, uh, they're actually accusations and they're false and they're a lie. You see, sometimes it feels like screaming these slogans is like cool or trendy sometimes, but it has chilling meaning. And, and if we really love freedom and we love democracies and we love uh, our own free countries and we love the free world, we don't want to say something that is actually a antagonizing lie against the free world and against us who stand for freedom. So thank you for helping share the truth here. Share this video to five people right now, please. Thank you. <laughs>